In this video, we have been given a quarter circle in which AC is 24, CD is 7 and angle ACD is 90 degree. Then we have to find shaded area. So the first method Since it is a quarter circle, that means this angle, it will be 90 degree. And now, from point O, if we draw a perpendicular on AC, suppose this point is P, then in any circle from center O and any chord AC, if we draw a perpendicular, suppose this point is P, then AP it will be equal to CP. So here also AP it will be equal to CP and we have AC is 24. So AP, it will be equal to CP, that will be 24 by 2 and it is 12. So AP is 12 and CP is 12. And now from point D, if we draw a perpendicular on OP, suppose this point is Q, then In CD, QP, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree. So this angle, it will be also 90 degree. That means it will be rectangle. So CP, it will be equal to DQ that will be 12, dq will be 12 and also cd it will be equal to pq that will be 7, pq it will be 7 and now Suppose this angle is alpha, then this angle is 90 degree, then this angle, it will be 90 degree minus alpha. Suppose it is beta, then again this angle, it will be alpha and this angle is 90 degree, so this angle, it will be beta. And Suppose OQ is X, then interangle OAP it is OAP this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degree, AP is 12 and OP it will be x plus 7. So tan alpha, it will be 12 by x plus 7. And interangle OQD, it is OQD, this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degree, OQ is x and QD is 12. So tan alpha, it will be x by 12. So from these two equations, we can say that 12 by x plus 7, it will be equal to x by 12, that is tan alpha. And 
if we cross multiply then 2n times 2n it will be x times x plus 7 and it is 144 is x square plus 7x and it is x square plus 7x minus 144 is equal to 0 and it is x square and 7x it is 16x minus 9x minus 144 it is equal to 0 and it is x times x plus 16 minus 9 times x plus 16 is equal to 0 and it is x minus 9 times x plus 16 is equal to 0 so either x minus 9 it will be equal to 0 so x will be equal to 9 and either x plus 16 it can be 0 so x will be equal to minus 16 and x is length so it should be positive and minus 16 is negative so it is not possible so x will be equal to 9 and we have x is equal to 9 and now shaded area it will be equal to this area suppose a1 plus this area suppose a2 plus this area suppose a3 it will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 and a1 is area of a triangle with height 12 and base x plus 7 plus a2 is area of a triangle with base x and height 12 plus a3 is rectangle of side 7 and 12 so it will be equal to 1 by 2 times x plus 7 times 12 plus 1 by 2 times x times 12 plus 7 times 12 and it is 1 by 2 times x plus 7 will be 16 because x is 9 times 12 plus 1 by 2 times x is 9 times 12 plus 7 times 12 and it is 8 times 12 plus 9 times 6 plus 7 times 12 and it is equal to 96 plus 54 plus 84 and it will be 234 and the second method we have AC is 24 CD is 7 and this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree so if we join AD then in triangle ACD AC square plus CD square it will be equal to AD square by Pythagoras theorem and 
AC is 24 square plus CD is 7 square, it is AD square and it is 576 plus 49 is equal to AD square and it is 625 is AD square. So AD it will be 25. AD is 25 and now if we extend CD and AO then in any circle diameter makes an angle of 90 degree on the circle and here suppose this point is M then we have angle ACM is 90 degree so AM it will be diameter so we can make a semicircle and AO it will be equal to OM that will be radius suppose R AO is R and OM is R and now In triangle AMD, DO is perpendicular to AM and we have AO is equal to MO. That means ADM it will be isosceles triangle. So AD it will be equal to dm ad it will be equal to dm and ad is 25 so dm it will be also 25 and now In triangle ACM, it is ACM, AC is 24, CM is 25 plus 7, that will be 32, and AM, it will be R plus R, that will be 2R, and this angle is 90 degree. So, 2R square, it will be equal to 24 square plus 32 square and R square, it will be 12 square plus 16 square and R square is 144 plus 156 and R square is 400, so R, it will be 20. And we get R is 20 and now shaded area it will be equal to this area suppose A1 plus this area A2, A1 plus A2 and A1 it is area of a triangle with base OD and height AO that is R plus A2 is area of a triangle with base 7 and height 24 and also OD square it will be AD square minus AO square 
एंड इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एस क्वी माइनस ए ओ इज आर डेट इज ट्वेंटी एस क्वी एंड इट इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फोर हंड्रेड डेट विल बी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ओ डी इट विल बी ए स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डेट विल बी फिफ्टीन इट इज फिफ्टीन सो इट विल बी वन बाई टू टाइम्स आर टाइम्स फिफ्टीन प्लस वन बाय टू टाइम्स सेवेन टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इट इज वन बाय टू टाइम्स ट्वेंटी टाइम्स फिफ्टीन प्लस वन बाय टू टाइम्स सेवेन टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इट इज टेन टाइम्स फिफ्टीन प्लस सेवेन टाइम्स ट्वेल्व एंड इट इज वन फिफ्टी प्लस एटी फोर डेट विल बी टू हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर